Hi everyone, this is the legendary I'm back again with more. This one I'm gonna be doing another Beyblade Burst unboxing. But this time is gonna be a special one. This one is of Legend Spriggan 7 MR. And I actually do have the Hasbro one to compare it to. Um the Hasbro unboxing will be coming soon. Hopefully I will um be able to make more unboxing videos well at least upload more because I just haven't really had the time to edit too many unboxing videos and this is just one I want to make for having a thousand subscribers I also have another Beyblade which you'll see in the next video but this is basically the video that we have for today so um I think you did see a few but there were a few battle videos I did make of this one and it's pretty good, but then again, it does have some flaws to it, such as the plastic and everything, but this is going to the box of Legend Spriggan. So, over there, you see Red Eye. Um, yeah, Red Eye is a new owner of Spriggan. Or you could say, she in a Japanese one. And there you go. That's the top of this, Dakar Tommy. Those are the logos, and there's even a dual spin logo, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little rainbow. Then you see it um it goes both ways. Left and right spin. I'm not sure which one is which according to this picture. But there you go. One thing to probably know is that it has a LR launcher here. <laughs> and it looks cool. It looks way better than the Hasbro box. Because the Hasbro box is just boring. But there you go. It shows how it just switches modes and then there's the gimmick of it. And then you see the difference in the power. Then you see LS or Legends Brigand 7, then Merge. Or MR, which could also be Mr. But there's the rainbow color logo right there again. But I'm not sure what that means. I think that means that's the newest heaviest in the game. Well, at least at that time. Then you see a little graphic of, um... Of Legend Sprig and Burst <laughs> Bursting Lost Longinus. But let's just get on to it. It's also part of the dot layer system, which I think I already could tell. But let's just get on to it. Just gonna start opening it now. So I have the Legend Spriggan over here, which looks just completely amazing. Just, I don't know, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a part comparison in a minute, but here is the LR launcher. It's just a ripcord launcher, but it actually can spin, it could go left or right, and for some reason there's a little bit more teeth on this side than the other one. Strange, but... Still pretty cool. And just twist it, and there you go. This is also the tool, so you could switch between left and right spin for the um, Hasbro or Takara Tommy Legend Spriggan slash Legend Spryzen, or even your Spriggan Requiem if you have one. So that's good to know. And it seems pretty good. I just had to test it out though. But yeah, it seems pretty good so far. But let's go on to the parts. So it's actually in right spin for the Hasbro one. They use Hasbro one quite a bit, but if you know, um, mine actually has a problem with the driver. Let's start with the driver first, which is actually merge. And if you could tell, there's no pointing part on the in the middle of the merge driver. Whereas this, you can kind of see like a little bit of a tip at the top. That is actually a little bit of a spike. And it's supposed to be there, but for the Hasbro one, mine wasn't molded correctly. And then the spike ended up not being there at all. So, 
my Beyblade, my Hasbro Beyblade Burst Legends Rising has a lot less stamina than everyone else's, sadly, but that's just a little defect that I have with mine, and then this one's just perfect. But there you go, it's like a nice, nice dark red color. It's amazing. Especially compared to the Hasbro one. And then 7, the disc. I don't know, it kind of feels like a little bit of a slight weight difference, but I think these are basically the same weight too. They're, they're exactly the same disc anyway. But then again, here's the main difference. So, you can look at this plastic and already tell that it looks just way better than Hasbro's. But then again, they are mostly the same, except for the, um, if you haven't noticed already, the axe seems to be a little bit bigger here than that one is smaller. And then the, the god chip is actually popped out a little bit more. This one's actually pushed in strangely but then you can tell that the plastic here is kind of foggy then it messes up easily for a left spin but this one is some clear some special stronger plastic so that won't happen and for this the armor kind of moves a little bit it shifts a little bit during battle it's sad but that's how it is and then back there's a QR code but for this you just have amazing looking teeth. Just look at that. It's just, it's such a shock to me. Just to see teeth again, it's kind of like, what happened? But, that's basically it. I'm just going to put the Beyblade together then tell you my thoughts on the clicks. Since I never had Legend Spriggan. Right Spin. Wow. Okay. It actually seems pretty good. It seems like it seems like it could hold up in a good two, three battles. Let's try and do the um well spin change gimmick. Can't really line up, but uh now I'm just gonna get the launcher. And just Okay, that is just way better. And I don't feel like this Beyblade is just going to break every single time I switch the modes on it. Unlike the Hasbro one, so I feel way safer. And yeah, I, I don't know. This, this seems safe, but the left spin mode has always been a little bit more... I don't know. It's, it's always been a more, more riskier way to play using Legends Brizen. I meant Legends Brigand, so that's why no one really uses it, but that's it. It has great teeth. But then again, let's go on to a test spin and test battle. We're gonna be doing two test spins and then we're gonna do a test battle against um probably just God Valkyrie. Okay, so let's start off with right spin. And no, I'm not putting on the stickers until after the video. So, let's go on with right spin. Three, two, one, let it. Wow. I actually feel way more secure just using Legend Spriggan than I do just using Legend Spriggan already. And, I don't know. I guess it's just the Beyblade. Or it's probably the launcher. Either way, it still seems awesome and I still like Legend Spriggan more. But it's going to the test spin of the last spin. These clicks are amazing. Okay, there it is. Oh, forgot. Goes the opposite direction. Ha. Huh. There. And then the last spin. Way. Three, two, one. Wait. I meant go shoot, but there you go. 
it seems to cause way more chaos than last spin. But you know what? Let's go on to our test battle. You know what? Just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna have a test battle against Guy Valkyrie over here. Let's just do the battle. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, spin finish in round one. Round two, three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. That KO was amazing. It almost burst it, but it was just worth seeing. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Just wow. So even though that was a burst finish, I did launch Legend Spriggan in left spin. So I guess you could say that that was one of the reasons why it just lost. But either way, that was just a test battle, and it was just for fun, so nothing's really, no one's really saying that it's just a horrible video in general just from a test battle. So, with that, I'm just going to end the video. So, like if you want, favorite if you want, and subscribe for more awesomeness. See you next time, bye, and I'm proving to be legendary.